we're looking uh, we're looking for snags now. Uh, I want to make sure that when we have a, an arborist out to help us with the right. big woods, see, I didn't go too far, that we know um, what we're looking at. Those branches that broke left snags. Snags are are going to become dead wood uh, on a tree like a pine that doesn't grow from bare wood. Um, and there are some there are some argument in favor of snags, and that a lot of uh, wood boring. Uh, birds yeah, so that, go that eat oh. in wood will right. go will go there, and that if it's a large enough snag, it can be a, 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 a an abode, a, a home for somebody by hollowing it out. But you don't want to leave a whole lot of those things out there. So our big white pine has a number of snags, including big long ones sticking out, and we're going to want to have those taken off properly. Uh, not you, something we can reach. Yeah, and you don't you don't want to attempt something like that get get a professional yeah um get somebody with the equipment to do that properly. legitimate professional um yeah. the branch that's hang that's uh leaning there this branch that goes across is actually it fell and it's all the way down on the ground and leaning on this branch it might look like a small branch around but it's it's close on six inches across and it weighs a lot. Uh, when when that comes we, down, we moved the parodia that wasn't that big around, and it took twelve people to, to move to it. To lift it up four inches just to get it over uh, where we could slide or it over the, the tarp. Even at any rate, get an arborist on. That. Take a look around and see what you've really got for them to do. Questions on any of any of that, or any birds love it. Box elders oh. are junky. Yeah. I see the box elders uh, discussion going on. I remember asking at, I think I asked Randy Baker at Seven Ponds Nature Seven Center. Ponds. I said, T tell me what, what use a box elder is. And he said, that's the question to ask. Not to say, why are they such crummy trees? Box elders are one of the highest value wildlife trees that you can get. They break and keep growing. They create natural snags and, it, and the, the plant keeps going. They have lots of seeds for small mammals. They, have, they attract lots of insects, which means lots of birds like them. And boy, the insects are becoming more and more important where our insect population worldwide is, is crashing. Not just declining. And birds need insects. It's one of the reasons they come mm -hmm. north um, at, because insects bloom out the same time that spring plants bloom out, and, and they're not finding enough to feed the young. There's not enough protein for those guys. Um, I am remembering that uh, Bob had a hand up right as we went to start. Um, so I wanted to uh, uh, invite Bob to ask his question. Oh, thank you. No problem. And it's a bit off topic, but I was going through the excellent uh, guides from the past on shade perennials, uh, the series you did there, and interested in um, Father Gilla Gardeni, if I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah, Gardini. Yep. Gardini, thank you. And uh, as you noted in the key, some of these shade shrubs and other perennials can take more or less shade and sun than others. But I'm looking at that Father Gilla, could it work? Could I cheat it into a mostly sunny site or am I playing with, uh, uh, you know, danger there? Well, you're, you're better off with Father Gilla in a, in a mostly sunny site. If you can give it four hours of sun, that's great, especially if the four hours of sun come on a cool part of the day because it's going to have better fall color. The, you can, you, you, it might even be able to go up to six hours. Yeah. You know, well, I've seen it grown in full sun full at botanical sun, yeah. gardens as long as there's plenty of water. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I did see a question go by from Nancy about uh, having uh, some snags taken off of their trees recently, and the arborist who did it wore spikes. Nope. Um, throw them off your property and never they, recommend them to anybody. That is not an ISA. Uh, the only. Is, International only, Society of Arborists certified arborists. Yeah. I mean, with the only that. time you put a gaff, the spike is that there are gaffs that were climbers. The only time you use climbers is if the tree is coming down. Um, if they're using climbers, they are damaging the tree, and you might just as well have left the snag up there for the damage that they do. Um, they climb with ropes. Uh, I, I'm not sure if they're doing if they did shiver on the river um, this year in Detroit. The COVID changed everything around. Mm -hmm. The arborists in our area, we get together once a year and do volunteer work on our Belle Isle Park area and give demonstrations, including letting kids 
try out right. their climbing ropes. And I'll tell you, a, a good rope person is a joy to watch. Absolutely joy. And and with the equipment improvements, there are little itty bitty amazing things that they could that are tracked that if they do, they could lift themselves right up into the tree yeah. and move it in it. It's that's much better than even yeah. thinking about climbing. When I see somebody climbing a tree with climbers that they're that it's not being taken down. I, I don't like to stay and watch if I've got the kids, the nope. grandkids around, because those are the people that get hurt. They don't understand what they're doing, let alone besides, what they're doing to the trees. Besides hurting the tree. Um, I, uh, uh, Stacey is asking about what criteria you, you look for in choosing an arborist. I also wanted to mention that we are dog sitting for a dog that makes wookie noises. And so if you hear any weird distortion in my voice, it is the wookie noises of, uh, of the, the dog we're sitting. But uh, yeah, Stacy would like to know about the criteria for choosing an arborist. Our, uh, our, our recommendation to people is to look on the ISA, the International Society of Arboriculture has a site where you can put in your zip code and find ISA certified arbor arborists. Mm -hmm. These are people who've taken the time to take the classes, to pass the, the uh, tests that are given um, in handling the equipment, in identifying the plants. And if you have an ISA certified arborist, they might have helpers who are not certified, but you want that you want the ISA cert certified arborist. There are people who are not ISA certified who know their stuff and have been doing things, but I can't tell you how to tell who they are. Um, other than if you're seeing them on a job and they're not climbing a tree. Yeah. You know, but um you go yeah. to isa.org or um uh shoot I've put it on a couple of things we have there. Yeah. I it's got arbor in it. It, you put it just type in International Society of Arboriculture and arboriculture is arbor culture arbor it call there's an I in there but yeah the, the, the computer will figure it out <laughs> great um while we're on uh trees and damage Mary Ellen says if the arborvitae isn't cut or broken could you tie the limbs together sure you can um but now you now you've changed the way that the plant you've changed the dynamics of the plant where in the wind it shifts back and forth and now it's and, and it has built up wood to handle the shifting that went back and forth and and com compressed wood in some places and stretched wood in other places and you're changing that whole dynamic so you're putting yourself into the middle of the uh, trees structure forever um, you're going to have to keep changing those straps and you're, you that, you're better to yeah. prune and make it strong we yeah. have one called uh uh, what is the arbor by arbor? If you put in splayed into our website, you'll come to a site where we showed pruning out an arbor vitae that was flopping to say, just let's just yep. take out the reason that it's flopping. And, and there's a follow up picture of uh, a month later. You can't even tell that big chunks were taken out. Yeah. Um, okay, I, I think that's the the one that I I found um, for the the slate arborvitae, but it's true. You just type "splay" into the uh, the search bar. 